All right, guys, well, this is my project for the day. And actually, uh, maybe a day and a half. Uh, they, uh, something seriously missing. I spent a little bit of time earlier trying to get it apart. The mechanic was out here taking the cylinder part and all the center parts, hoses, things like that. But uh, this is the, the piece that broke off right here. And uh, I'll be cutting this off right in there and reusing that. I wish I'd had a time to be able to measure it, but where it goes, I'll just get that measurement off another another backhoe. It's no biggie. So for now, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, I'm gonna be cleaning this up with a needle scaler, and then I'll be trying to torch through at an angle, kind of at a make an instant bevel at the same time. Cut all the way around here, and same thing over here. See, I do this without getting dirty. For now. Right here, I'll, I'll try and wash that off. And what normally happens is you can see the separation line between this piece and this piece. And then just that piece will just fall right out. So fairly easy. Um, I've done these before to where we end up using a heavier wall pipe. So it takes the abuse a little bit better. This thing let go pretty good. That was the last break. And over here it had been repaired like a couple few times at least. But it's been cracking internally and stuff. So it wasn't gonna last long anyway. But either way, stay tuned. I'm gonna try and get this uh, knocked out of here for a second. And I'll show you guys another picture or video once I clean it up. All right. Some more cracks around here. Probably have to arc gouge those, clean those up a little bit. All right, so I've got this center part here already installed. I gouged all that off and kind of cleaned it up. I like I like hitting it with a needle scaler. Kind of gives a factory look once you paint it. I'll probably end up putting caps on it later, but. Uh, I got the centerpiece already installed and I put it on there while this was still loose just to make it easier to spin around because you know, it's just hard to get all the way around so like that and then so next important thing is to make sure that this tractor is level if you weld it with these arms like this of course your bucket's not going to sit flat on the ground so what I like to do is I like to come out here hopefully these don't leak down too fast these are outriggers but I like to put a level right in here. Uh, that's usually a pretty straight section of the tractor. So once that part is level, then I can come back over here and I'll probably use my jack stands. I'll see if I can fit them underneath the bucket somehow or maybe under the edges of these arm, uh, this here. Just catch that a little bit and make sure that is level as well before I tack that cross tube in there and make sure that that's in the correct position. So that's the next step for now. So hang tight, we'll see you. Okay, so here we are. I was able to move the machine off the rocks over there. Made it a lot easier. And fortunately enough for me, the ground is pretty flat here. So all I really had to do was come back and set these outriggers down, like I mentioned, and check the level against here. So that's nice and level. And then, like I mentioned over here, this this is pretty nice and level so the arms are pretty straight and for added measure to figure out where exactly this goes here what I did is like there's another backhoe here on site and I figured out the angle back here 
of this piece here so now that everything's good I should be able to tack it up and weld it out and they'll get it back together so now it's all me glue it back together and it should be done oh and of course a couple gouge gouges here and there but other than that pretty straightforward really not that tough and so so far so good pretty simple little project just a lot of work uh, in a sense it's not too bad all right well i guess i'll show you some after footage when i'm done see ya Well, it looks like I finished it up. There's a cross tube all welded up. Got some yellow paint, ran out of paint. Uh, gotta love yellow paint. It reminds you real quick how horrible of a welder you are. All the undercut and stuff, yucka. But either way, uh, it's done. And uh, you know, with the principles of, you know, gouging it out and uh, doing it right. Uh, if you're a decent welder, it should hold pretty good. And plus, they, we used a, a thicker tube so that helps a lot uh, be able to take the stresses of the abuse a little bit better but anyway it's done so i'm glad it's done i can move on to the next one now and i gotta put up my junk but after that uh, sun's that way you can see again it's done and so i thank you for uh, following uh, please uh, hit subscribe leave me some messages let me know what you think I'm still rather new at this, so 
you know, I'm open to ideas on whatever it is that you guys uh, would like to see. So hopefully you learned something from this and I appreciate all your support. And I guess we'll see some of you at Fabtech uh, soon, next week actually. So we'll see you guys there. And again, thanks again.